I'm still living with your ghost. Lonely and dreaming of the West Coast. Hey guys, how's it going? It's Steph Davis here from FlipThisWholesaler.net. I have a reader mail video for you guys on this fine Tuesday evening. My question tonight comes from Jeremiah, and Jeremiah's email reads, Hey Steph. I'm a beginning wholesaler in Nashville, Tennessee, and I'm starting to get a little worried about whether or not wholesaling actually works in my market. I've spoken to several realtors here, and all of them tell me that it would be a waste of time for me to try and wholesale here. According to them, the market here is too slow, and the investors who are buying can just go on the MLS for deals instead of going through a wholesaler. I know you're in a different market, but is there any advice you can give me about this? Thanks, Jeremiah. All right, so this is actually, um, we actually had a, I had a coaching call earlier this evening and someone was asking a similar question to this. Um, so Jeremiah is having, he's just getting started, he's approached some real, realtors and the realtors are telling him that um, wholesaling doesn't work. Um, I th think I've mentioned this before on other videos, but um, most realtors, 99% of realtors, they have no idea what wholesaling is. Um, it's not really, you can't really fault them for that. That's not really part of their job. Their job is to find buyers for houses, not to find wholesalers, to find buyers for the houses. Um, they don't teach wholesaling in realtor school as far as I'm aware of. So in a lot of um, begin people who are just starting out, they make this mistake. I did it too when I was first getting started. I remember I called up a realtor and I was all excited about this property that I wanted to make an offer on and I told her, what I was going to do, I was going to put it under contract and then assign it to a buyer and she looked at me like my head was on fire basically. And I got all discouraged and um, went back to, I think it was like flippinghomes.com and put a post on there similar to what Jeremiah just wrote me that was saying, you know, I don't think this works where I'm at. This realtor told me that it doesn't work, blah, blah, blah. So first thing you need to do, especially if you're just getting started, um, just keep in mind that wholesaling and most creative real estate strategies and techniques are not mainstream. So most realtors, uh, brokers, a lot of title companies are not going to know what the heck you're talking about. So you want to, it's very, very important when you're just getting started to surround yourself with people who are actually successful at whatever it is you're trying to do, whether it be wholesaling or short sales. Um, lease option subject to whatever you want to find people whether it be in your market or you can go online it's very easy to go to like um, flippinghomes.com or reiclub.com or biggerpockets.com and find like-minded individuals who are actually out in the market right now doing deals and those are the people that you want to take advice from okay it's very important I remember when I was first getting started and I went to a real a RIA meeting um, and don't get me wrong, I think RIA meetings are a great way when you're first getting started to, to start doing some networking and finding out, you know, maybe finding some of the players in your market. But there are also a lot of um, like old timers at some of the RIA meetings and a lot of them kind of scoff at wholesalers. I remember one of the first meetings that I went to and I was talking to this guy, he'd, you know, been buying and selling houses for I don't know how long. Actually, he was a landlord. I think he had mostly, you know, a lot of rent rental properties. And I was telling him about, um, you know, that I wanted to start wholesaling properties off of the MLS. And I specifically remember sitting there and him telling me basically that I was an idiot. You can't get any deals on the MLS. They're all picked over. Um, he just went on and on and on about how you can't, this doesn't work, you know, try doing something else or do something else because that doesn't work. So, um, and at that point, I had already located some people in my market and in other markets. I was very active on the FlippingHomes.com forum. I had found a couple people on there that were very, very successful at wholesaling REOs. So at that point, I just remember telling myself, um, from this point forward, I'm putting blinders on. And the only people that I am taking advice from when it comes to wholesaling, in my case, it was wholesaling REOs, the only people I am taking advice from are people who are successful at wholesaling REOs and everyone else basically can suck it for lack of a better <laughs> for lack of better um, phrase. But that's um, that's what you need to do when you especially when you're first getting started because you're already you have all of these doubts about 
yourself and about if this works anyway, the very last thing you need is somebody telling you a negative Nancy or whatever, telling you that this doesn't work. Um, you absolutely need to surround yourself with people who are successful at what you want to be doing and don't take advice from anyone else. So, um, kind of went off on a tangent there a little bit, but, um, so Jeremiah, don't get discouraged. I can guarantee you that there's people in Nashville that are wholesaling successfully. I can't think of any off the top of my head that I know right now, but I can guarantee you that there are people that are wholesaling there successfully. So, um, you know, just start surrounding yourself. And if you can't find anyone in your market, start going online, going on Facebook to the various real estate groups, flippinghomes.com, like I mentioned, and surround yourself with like-minded individuals who are succeeding at what you want to do. Um, as far as the comment about, this is another one that I get all the time um, from people who say, well, why would a buyer go to you? What, what purpose do you serve um, if a buyer can just go on the MLS and find deals? Or my buyers are already looking at the MLS. Um, you know, that's fine if they're looking at the MLS, but even if they're going through the listings and getting updates every single day, there's absolutely no possible way that you can stay on top of every single deal. You just can't. It's not possible. Um, that's one, one part of it. The second part of it is a lot of the deals that, um, for me anyway, that I have gotten off of the MLS, they weren't listed at great deals. They became a great deal when I made an offer and got, like, say, a, a lower offer accepted. So um, unless your buyers are... Um, God basically and there can be everywhere it you know they can be all over every single property on the MLS and they're making offers on every single property every single day there's no way that they can get every deal so I can guarantee you that if you you know end up scoring a great deal on the MLS and you bring it to them and it fits their buying criteria they're gonna take it from you so um, I guess bottom line is just don't get discouraged um, there's plenty of, you know, even if your buyers are looking at the MLS or you don't even have to get deals on the MLS if you don't want to, but if that's what you were, you know, if that's what you were going to try and do, don't let people tell you that it's not possible to do because, you know, the, the buyers can already go on the MLS. Yes, they can, but they can't be on top of every single deal. Um, and then as far as, like I said, just don't be taking advice from, you know, people who are not successful already at wholesaling, um, because that's the... I see so many people that get sidetracked and they get discouraged um, from talking to, and sometimes it's not even realtors, it's relatives or coworkers who just want to squash their dreams and say, no, this doesn't work, you can't do that. Um, you know, somebody's just trying to sell you something. That's not the case. There's plenty of people out there in every market that are succeeding right now at wholesaling and rehabbing and um, whatever. You just need to go find those people, um, start hanging around them and taking your advice from them. So, um, anyway, sorry for the long-winded response here, but I hope I answered your question. Um, if you have any further questions after watching this, feel free to leave a comment below, and I'll be happy to answer if I can. So, guys, have a great evening, and I will see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.